I've also broken four bones. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. I was drunk and I did a handstand on a balcony and fell off. This is by far the best. List three adjectives that would surprise people about you. Deep, intuitive, creepy. in season of The Bachelorette isn't starting until June. So you might be thinking, what are we gonna do till June? What we're gonna do, kiddos, is a little thing I like to call story time. This story time is about the time that I was a finalist to be on The Bachelor. Yeah. I ain't ashamed. Thousands of women apply every season to be on the coveted show, The Bachelor, and the producers go through all their applications, the videos, friends who submit their friends, which is what happened with me, and choose the top 100 girls to fly into LA, or if you already live in LA like I did, to be plopped in a hotel room and go through an excruciatingly long and in-depth interview process. So if you are watching this because you just got asked to come to finals weekend for The Bachelor, congratulations! This is what you have to look forward to, honey. Yeah, I'm just kidding. So one day, my friend Sydney submitted me and she just sent in some photos of me and a little like bio about me and how much I deserved it. And, and whatever she said must have really hit home because they were like, this is our girl. I then got a message from The Bachelor people to uh, send in this application. I'm gonna go over some of the answers I put on this application, which got me to finals week. I know that I was like trying to really show my personality in this application. So I'm just gonna read, I'm just gonna read you some of the stuff I wrote. What's your favorite drink? In all caps, tequila by itself or anything you add into it, I'm happy with. Also white wine. I'm classy like that sometimes, sometimes. Not when I add ice to it, but sometimes. Have you ever been married or engaged? No, far from. Are you genuinely looking to get married and why? Yes, in all caps. I have been on the hunt for a husband since I was very young. My dad sometimes gives me the time's a ticking talk, which I get, but he doesn't understand how hard it is to find a man out here in La La Land. Time's a ticking. I think when my dad said that, he was talking about my like, baby making clock, like, how old are you? Where's my grandkids? Mm, this one was good. Please describe your ideal mate in terms of physical attraction and in terms of personality attraction. Personality wise, he must, must, must be funny. He needs to be able to keep up with my sarcasm and wit, which is running on overdrive 24 seven. Someone who is spiritual and adventurous, but also loves snuggling and sleeping in and eating in and out. That could not be truer to who I am. <laughs> Athletic build, he doesn't need to be a meathead though. Actually, please no meatheads. I love smiles and someone who laughs a lot. I kind of described my boyfriend, like low key described him, but don't tell him. How many serious relationships have you been in? And how long were they? I've been in two long term and one medium term relationship. Medium term? That's not a thing. The medium relationship was a year, but he was drunk pretty much the whole time, so he might not remember most of it. They ask what my special talent is, and I actually say I can rap Nicki Minaj, spelled Nicki Minaj wrong. I've also broken four bones. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. I was drunk and I did a handstand on a balcony and fell out. This is by far the best. List three adjectives that would surprise people about you. Deep, intuitive, and creepy. Deep, intuitive, creepy. What have you not found but would love to have in a relationship? I want someone who wants to be there for me and support me no matter what. I am usually the girl who cares about my partner more than they care about me. I fall too hard, too soon, or just with the wrong person altogether. I need someone who can reciprocate those feelings towards me. BRB crying. I wrote BRB crying. Let me go hug my boyfriend real quick. Babe! Babe, where are you? 
After I sent in my application, I got a phone call from one of the producers saying, we got your application, we loved it. Can we bring you in for a quick 30 minute meeting to meet the casting director? This was in April of 2018 that I sent all this stuff in. So then August rolls around and they tell me that I have been selected for finals week. Finals week is the last step until they choose who is gonna be on The Bachelor. And at this point, you don't know who's gonna be The Bachelor. So if you're from out of town, they'll fly you in for a day or the weekend. I don't know how long it was. I live in LA, so I showed up to the hotel on the day they asked me. You have an escort the entire day. So you cannot go anywhere without your escort. You're not like going all around the hotel and like meeting other people or anything like that. It's you in a hotel room by yourself for about 10 hours. Minus the parts where you're talking to producers, casting directors, and getting um, your psych check. They have like a long psychiatric, it's like psychological testing. And then you go through like uh, the health panel, you know, like they take blood. Before I went into like the first mini interview, which when you walk into the room, they have like the background set up, just like how they do in like the Bachelor Mansion, you know, with like the candles. It really just like looks like you're filming in The Bachelor, which I thought was like so cool being like a big fan of all this stuff. So the guy who was like my casting director, before I go into the room, he like pulled me aside and he was like, I just wanna let you know, there's only gonna be one other person in this room, but the entire crew of producers, executive producers are in the other room watching what you're saying right now. It, it'd be like if one other person was here filming with me, but this video was live broadcasting in another room with everyone who's ever worked as a producer on The Bachelor. I don't know if they asked me like if I have any like special talents and I told them that I can rap Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. One of the boys with the boom system, top down AC with the cool system. When you come up in the club, you play some up, got that sound tank with the place and nothing. They're like, okay, we're gonna have you meet some of the producers after the five minute interview or whatever. So you go and you you walk into this room and I'm not kidding, it's like oh, an entire classroom full of people and they're all facing a big TV screen which your ass was just on rapping to super bass. It's dead quiet, you sit in the chair and then you're just like sitting out looking at a sea of everyone who's ever worked on The Bachelor. I was like, okay, the best thing you can do right now, they're kind of, I think, seeing how you do under pressure because millions of people are going to watch the show. So do they want someone who's like, hi, and like super uncomfortable? No, because that person's not gonna wanna like open up and tell, you know, your deepest, darkest secrets and feelings on the show. So let's see how she does with like 30 people staring at her. I'm sitting there and then after like a few seconds of kind of just looking around and trying to act as normal as possible. Someone finally says, hi, or I like your dress, or you know, whatever it was to kind of break the ice. Everyone just like kind of like yells out different things that they want to know about you. I ended up talking about numerology, but that's probably not why I get on. <laughs> After that, you go through like hours of talking to this man. And I swear, like if he put like a lie detector test on me, like that would have seemed normal. He's asking you a billion questions like if I've ever had like a restraining order, if I've ever like been arrested. We've seen loose cannons on this show, but I think they were trying to filter out the truly crazy ones. After that, you go and get your blood taken um, by these like this really nice older couple. And that was the last thing you have to do. And then, you know, you go back to your hotel room, you get all your stuff together, and then you're free to leave. A couple weeks go by, and then I finally get the call. Whatever casting director lady called, and she told me very, very nicely that I would not be going on the season of The Bachelor. And she just pretty much said, we don't think that you and The Bachelor would be a good fit for one another. And I was like, Oh, darn it. Like, how do they know that? Turns out The Bachelor was Colton Underwood that season, who is, if you aren't familiar with Colton, a virgin. Virgin. So it turns out they were right. I felt like it was such a fun experience and I loved 
knowing the behind the scenes of things. That's kind of why I wanted to do this video was to show you guys like, how do they find these girls? What do they go through? Thank you to my friend Sydney for submitting me. Thank you for Colton for being a hardcore virgin. Thank you to all the trust issues that probably made my application. Thank you guys so much for watching this little story time. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every single damn week, whether you like it or not. Can I pick that dog? Can I pick that dog? Can I pick that dog? Can I pick that dog?